guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. If you guys are new here, my name's Yasmin and I am 25 weeks pregnant with baby girl number three. So right now we're hanging out at the new house. We only have a few more days before we are fully out of our old one. We've been living at our new one, but we still had stuff over at our old one. We're finally gonna be fully out of it. We have everything out of it and have it fully like professionally cleaned so that we can return it to the owners for them to do whatever, sell it or re-rent it or whatever. So it's been super hectic, which is why we've had weeks where we haven't uploaded and we don't have service at our new house yet. There's actually Comcast people right now trying to get cables wired to us because it's been really complicated with their Wi-Fi and everything. Anyways, that's why we've been gone for a while. Not even sure when you guys are gonna end up seeing this video. But I wanted to start today's vlog. Logan is out with Analia, charging the car, picking up some food. Layla and I are at the house. Layla's in the shower right now. Logan and I have some plans for tonight and normally you guys probably know from like our videos and stuff that the girls have been staying with Logan's mom four days a week. So normally they're with Logan's mom. Today they stayed home this morning because Logan and I have plans this evening. So they're just gonna go and go later tonight and just have a sleepover at Logan's mom's house, which they don't do very often anymore because they're there with her during the day a lot, so Logan and I are gonna have like a night alone. I wanted to bring you guys along because people were saying how it was really fun to like see Logan and I together without the kids in one of my recent videos that I was vlogging like while the kids were gone. So I was thinking it would be fun to do like a vlog of just like a day in the life of just Logan and I, and we have some stuff planned for tonight, so I thought it was perfect. Also, I've been posting recently on my story, I don't remember how it came up, but I was posting on my story about our couples therapy workbook and a lot of people were really interested in that so I thought we could do like a little bit of like a sit down and just talk about that and just like relationship advice and stuff like that. Before we get into this vlog don't forget to check out all of our socials down below, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. Quick house update, because I want to keep you guys in the loop. All of our stuff for our house. We built, let me fix the lighting here. So out on our deck here, we have this tent. We put like lights up around it, which is so cute at night. And we just got all this patio furniture in, which I am obsessed with. It was actually from Amazon and we literally just built it together today. It seems like it's super nice quality. We'll see like how long it lasts and like what the quality ends up being like, but it I think it's so cute. Um, and then this is a fire pit we have out here. This is the tent from the outside. The tent was also from Amazon. I might start doing like an Amazon monthly video of like things that I, like a, almost like haul video of like things I got that um, each month from Amazon because I definitely do get a lot of stuff from Amazon. We've gotten a lot of kitchen stuff so far from Amazon and just like, like this set. I wanted to have like a matching set of kitchen things. Logan isn't like crazy about having all silicone stuff. I just wanted to have like a matching set so now we can get rid of all of these random ones that I have in the flower pot here. So quick life update on me. Hopefully you guys probably will have seen the pregnancy up or bump date before this. I talked a little bit about how I've had like a lot of trouble sleeping and stuff with this, all of my pregnancies. I always like have trouble sleeping with my pregnancies, but since we moved into the house, Layla keeps like waking up at night and coming downstairs. They're actually, Logan actually just got home, so he's upstairs with Layla and Anna. Playing right now, if you hear that in the background. Layla has like been waking up at night because probably just because we're in a new house and she's like not used to it yet. So I, the like last couple of nights, last night I actually slept really well. But before that, the last couple of nights, I had not been sleeping at all. Like I was up like, barely got any sleep for like nights in a row. And then I also have been getting my wisdom teeth in, so I've been in so much pain. So I've just been like drained. Plus like moving has been super hard, obviously, which like we were expecting that. So between all of those things, I've just been super exhausted. I know that it's recommended not to drink too much coffee, like limit to like one cup of coffee like a day, which I don't even like drink coffee every day when you're pregnant or breastfeeding. But I wanted to find a solution to us being so busy and needing to have more energy than we have right now because we've just been like super exhausted and have so much that we have to do. So what I found has really helped us is Verb Energy Bars. Thank you to Verb Energy for sponsoring this video. The Verb Energy Bars come in these little packs and basically they're energy bars that are infused with green tea. So each bar, these are like the individual bars. So each one, it has about as much caffeine as like an espresso shot. So it's like having like a cup of coffee or having like an espresso shot but without the same like caffeine or like coffee 
crash or like jitters afterwards. They're only 90 calories, super low in sugar. They are gluten-free, dairy-free, and vegan. This one has been my favorite. It's the vanilla latte flavor. They have chocolate peanut butter, salted peanut butter, coconut chai, lemon raspberry, chocolate chip banana bread. They have so many good flavors. What I love is how convenient they are. So whenever we're like, we have to wake up in the morning and run around and go out to do something, we can just grab one of these bars, bring it with us, have it in the car, have it on the go. It's super easy and super convenient, especially for us as parents and just like with all the stuff we've been doing lately, it's so much like quicker than going out and getting coffee or making coffee. You guys can use my link below to do their trial kit, which gives you the opportunity to try their top four flavors, blueberry crisp, double chocolate, salted peanut butter, and peppermint mocha. So you, all you have to pay is 95 cents for shipping and you can do like a trial kit of those four flavors. Just click my link below. Grandma! Yay, grandma's here. Grandma. Are you going to have a sleepover at Grandma's? Yeah. Yay! Yay! Did you pack all your toys? Yeah. Got them all? <laughs> you see our new furniture? <laughs> Mommy and Daddy built this stuff today. <laughs> Daddy. This is what Anna has until we make a playground. <laughs> Jump. Jump. Bye, Anna. Love you. Bye. Can you give me kisses? That's pretty tough. Yeah. Let's see what you need. Mm -hmm. All right, we're off. We're headed up north to Philly. Is she in Philly? Oh, uh, Newark. Um, and where we're going tonight is we're going to his cousin. Um, yes. A like catering no. service. More. Kind of just does like thing where she just sells a bunch of different like food platters. Um, she like comes out with a menu and then she gives everyone like a week to order and then you can just go pick it up from her. Yeah, so it's kind of just like what we're doing tonight. Yeah. Okay, so we have a long drive ahead of us, so we want to film like a sit down thing. Hopefully my camera stays up. Sorry if it's like shaky. We don't have a car mount for our camera still. It's only been three years on YouTube. Yeah, you just passed three years. We still don't have a car mount for our camera. We want to talk about couples therapy because we we don't go to couples therapy, but we have a couples therapy workbook that we were posting about, and a lot of people were asking questions. So I wanted to like answer some of them and talk about it with Logan. Um, first of all, Logan ordered the book for us. Where did you get the book? Uh, I think I got it on Amazon. I, gotcha, I just looked it up, and I think Amazon is what came up for it. I talked about this a little bit, but I think a misconception about couples therapy is that couples therapy is for people that are like about to divorce and like couples that are having a really hard time and like at a breaking point and stuff. And that's like not at all true. And I think all couples that are in a serious relationship should be therapy the workbook i think is like a very good like if it's not like anything serious i, I don't know if if you're good at communicating if you follow right. the couple's workbook routine what you're supposed to do before it you actually go into each page then the workbook does wonders yeah it's good to talk to each other especially about things that are going on just to explain a little bit too about how the workbook works it's basically like there's a bunch of chapters and each one's about a different Topic. Yeah, like relationship topic, like faith, values, trust. Yeah, yeah, values. Basically, there's like a section you can read together about the topic, I guess. Yep. And then there's like a list of questions that you ask each other. And so you like, yeah, so you, you go back and forth and ask and answer about like these different questions. A lot of times, what happens is that like past things that we were like never really able to like completely figure out on our own, we get to like re tackle with the question except in a more way. open and comfortable environment yeah and like not when we're in the heat of the moment like with that issue it's like later on because a lot of times when like issues come up with the relationships like right when they come up and right when it's like an issue there's a lot more emotion involved and it's harder to like solve than i guess if I sense. so with the couples therapy book we're able to like talk about things that would either like have been issues in the past that we never like fully were able to like solve or probably help us prevent things that would have come up in the future yes it's just a lot about just like boundaries like we said like values and trust and boundaries all and that. things that you need to consider when in a relationship yeah so we think that's helped us a lot and up until now like this summer we never really got to date which sounds weird but we never really got to date because we've always had kids and have had very like little time without the kids like when logan met me layla was four months old and layla was like always a part of our relationship which had, was also awesome like i get to got to watch like logan become a dad to layla and that was awesome but 
we also never really got to date. So this summer was like the first summer that we had so much alone time and we actually have gotten to like date again, which has been so fun. Yeah. And it's like completely changed our relationship, I feel like. Definitely. And um, I'm just really grateful for that because like Logan's mom has been able to like, have the kids so much that so we've been able to do so much more stuff alone. Especially in Hawaii, we like had literally zero alone time because we only had us. We didn't have family there to help us. We had one babysitter that would come like every once in a while. Which we were very thankful for. Yes, yeah, so we loved her. It was just still really hard for us to ever have alone time. That's a really relationship advice, advice that I could possibly give is to go into every argument looking for a solution that helps both parties rather than going into an argument hoping you're right. Yes, exactly. Like you, you look for want, a solution and want to resolve something, it will be resolved. Like you have 100% to, you have to be. always want what's best for both of you guys instead of wanting to win. Yes. So sometimes you're not gonna be the happiest person in the world with the outcome. Yeah. But there's two of you now, so 100% of the time, you're gonna go out of the conversation way happier than if you're just trying to argue to win an yeah. argument. Um, another thing I've had to realize is that everybody has flaws. No flaw in a person is like worse or better than like the others, if that makes sense. Yes. Like, everybody has imperfections and like almost like you, not like you have to learn to just deal with it, but like you do, you have to learn to like... No, you, you not deal exactly with it. Like, deal with it, but you, have you to help each learn other. how, yeah, you learn how to live with it and how to control what you can control. And you, you, and there's Which some is things that only like how you react to things, like you can't control other people, like, you can't yeah, really control how you respond to things. Like, like, I like doing things really like on the fly, like, oh, Yasmin, in two hours, I want to go do this. Yasmin likes I need a week in advance, yeah. So, like, we had to learn together that sometimes I can't just do things in two hours, yeah, and sometimes Yasmin has to deal with stuff that's gonna happen within two hours, yeah, like, we've it's had like, to just learn to like accommodate to yeah. how each other function. Logan has pretty severe ADHD, so we had to learn how to work around that <laughs> with our relationship, which is like, I've had to learn a lot, like a lot of times I think before I like really knew a lot about it, like there was a lot of things that like were part of his like ADHD that I was just like frustrated by because I didn't understand it because of my brain just like functions differently. We've had to like work with it versus like trying to like fix it, we've had to work with it. Yeah. Another big factor in relationships especially with kids on learning like bad habits generational bad habits so like unlearning the bad habits that you've learned from how you were raised by your family yeah. which is hard to like recognize in yourself and then it's also hard to hear from somebody else because it feels like you're being attacked so like we've had to unlearn things that we like learned growing up that weren't necessarily right or aren't necessarily how like we as a unit want to do things with our kids. Yeah. I had a pretty interesting family situation growing up that lasted all the way through the beginning of, has never, has not ended. Just dealing with that has been like a lot on our relationship too because like we're already really young. I mean, when we started dating we were really young and we're already tackling like dating, moving in together, having a kid and on top of that dealing with like my family situation and yeah so there's a lot to handle and it's something that you have to think about yeah so couples therapy was awesome for like to like help us just like talk through things like in a calm environment and it's just really fun for us like it brings up like fun conversations sometimes like i think yeah it's a lot of fun doing it. i've never not had fun doing it yeah we like look forward to it it's fun it's not like we're like oh no like we have to talk about these things it's like we enjoy it so yeah, we definitely recommend it um, for any couples that like reach out to me. A lot of people reach out about like, when do I know like he's the one or when do I know like we're ready to have kids or we're ready to move in together. I don't have the answers for you, but if you couldn't do couples therapy workbook with someone, you're not, I don't know. I feel like doing like a couples therapy workbook is definitely like a test on your communication and that's something that's important. So if someone's not willing to put in the communication and effort. I, I used to have like, I wouldn't say bad anger issues, but I get I would get frustrated very easily. And I feel like we worked through that and she dealt with it 
while I was trying to get better. But if someone's not trying to get better and you don't see any results ever, I feel like that's a bad sign. I feel like they're not putting in the effort that you are in the relationship. Yasmin has really bad anger issues. No, I don't. What? Do I? You have the worst anger issues. Really? Yeah. I feel like I did snap on the kids. Just oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> Lately, I feel really bad, but like usually I'm like really calm and really good at like keeping it together and being patient and stuff. But the last couple days, like I talked about earlier, I've been like so overtired and overworked from like the move that I was like, I've been less patient with like Layla and Anna and I feel so bad because- She's I been mean. Cause I know the move is really hard on them too, but I'm like, I'm pregnant and I'm tired and I've just been angry with them and I'm never angry with them and I feel really bad. But like Layla was up in the middle of the night and she wanted a snack so she like got a granola bar and she was like, oh we need one for you and one for me and one for baby sister and I was like so tired. I was like, okay, just get three granola bars. So I helped her get them because she couldn't get them herself and then we're eating them in my bed. I was like, please don't spill in the bed. This is like four in the morning, by the way. And then she gets out of the bed to do something and I noticed her back is covered in chocolate from the granola bar. And then she tries to get back in the bed. I was like, no, you are not getting, first of all, I had no clue how she got chocolate all over her back. And I was like, you're not getting back to my bed until you go get wipes so I can wash this off your back. And then she went upstairs to get the wipes and then comes back and instead of bringing wipes down, just brought like a book. So I was like, go back and get the wipes. So she goes back and does the same thing like four times. And I was like, what is going on here? Like, why are you having so much trouble with this? So eventually I got really angry and I just like brought her upstairs, wiped her off and put her back in her bed. And it was, there was some crying involved. And then the next morning she told Logan on me. <laughs> yeah, she, she, told, she told me what has happened and how mommy was angry with her. Because she had chocolate because on her back. Because she had chocolate on her back. <laughs> he was probably like, what are you talking about? I was like, are you serious? <laughs> but I felt really bad, but I just like my patience level was like not there. Aside from like the issues that we've dealt with throughout our young relationship, we've had a really great summer and I'm very grateful for that. Oh my God, the other day, I after I was up all night with Layla, Logan let me sleep in and he woke me up with flowers and a beach picnic. And that was the cutest thing ever. And I think I cried. <laughs> what can I say? I'm the best. Oh, let's go look at Forerunners. <gasps> We're getting a new car. We have to trade in the Tesla to get a bigger car. And there's a Toyota dealership. We want to get a Forerunner. We think. We might We might get a Tahoe, though. You guys tell us. We don't want a minivan. No one even think about suggesting that we get a minivan. If you, get a, if you suggest a minivan. Don't even make a joke. We're blocking you. No, I'm <laughs> um, There's no jokes allowed about minivans. No minivan. Um, but yeah. We have an, if we have another one, minivan. Another one will fit in the Forerunner. <laughs> no, not as well. Oh my god, we're not getting. Four it. kids is. Wait, did you just suggest if we have another one? <laughs> Logan, you can't throw me in loops like this. <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> I told Logan it was on him um, if we have more kids or not because he's wanted us to get a vasectomy. I'm not getting on birth control. We know that I don't like it. So if you get clipped, we won't have any more kids. If you don't, it's on you. And obviously your pullout game isn't very good. All right, what do you guys think? <laughs> what do they think about what? Having more kids or the four <laughs> Do I have a good pullout game? <laughs> oh, oh. What do you guys think about the car? Forerunner or? Tahoe. Tahoe, we want a car. Obviously, it's big enough for everyone. We want like seven seater because we don't want to have to take car seats in and out of the car. We want the car seats where they are, and that's it. Right now, we have always have to take them out if we're having other people like in the car for like going somewhere with friends or something. So yeah, we don't want that. Seven seater. We want to be able to drive onto the beach. That's basically our requirements. <laughs> so, so Tahoe or Forerunner? Let's... Yeah. So which one? <laughs> Okay, we ate with like Logan's that. cousins at their house. The food was so good. I didn't bring my camera in because we thought we were just gonna pick it up and leave. But then we ended up hanging out for a long time and now we're at Target. We don't really have much that we like really need to get. Then we're just kind of shopping for house stuff. Logan's looking for a Pokemon game. It's not out yet. <laughs> not looking for it. <laughs> this is the one right above the living room. Uh, right above- Our bed? Our bed. Actually, yes, our bed. <laughs> That would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. 
Thanks, Logan. You're welcome. He doesn't let me do anything when I'm pregnant. He wouldn't even let me put the seat down. <laughs> Successful Target trip. We weren't in there for very long. And I got what we needed. And nothing else. I got what I was going for, nothing else. Actually, we got one. Logan got one thing for the pool, and I got one extra thing for the other trip. Okay, vlog. We just got home. I put comfy clothes on, and Logan's brother and his girlfriend just came over. Logan's older brother is usually like off at college, but it's late summer, so he's home and his girlfriend is visiting and we like always hang out with them when she's in town. So they came over and she got to see that, is getting to see the house and we're gonna make a fire and smoke this outside. <laughs> we just went into the woods to collect fire sticks. I feel like the most exciting part of s'mores is having to collect your stick. Right, this is a key fire. Okay vlog, we made s'mores and sat outside and rewatched the first episode of Outer Banks with Logan's brother and his girlfriend. And we just came back inside and are going to bed and tomorrow morning we're gonna have a breakfast date before the girls come home. And I vlog. <laughs> morning vlog. Logan and I got up, got showered, and got ready to go out for breakfast. Last night was trash night, and our driveway is like half my long gravel driveway. Anyways, Logan has to take the trash cans back up. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Last night, we like forgot about the trash, and then like late night, I was like, Logan, it's trash night, <laughs> and I felt so bad saying it, but... He would never let me take the trash all the way down this driveway. My phone's <laughs> dead. So it's gonna be a phone free breakfast. Oh, just because your phone's dead. <laughs> <laughs> We're eating at Cracker Barrel. Oh, Lila would freak out if we got her this. I would never get Yo, her that. No. <laughs> teach me, teach me. Okay. You've never played Check or I keep saying it's chess. No, I've never played. Vlog. I don't know what to do about this one. <laughs> I lost. If anyone's seen the TikToks, you know what this is. They already have Christmas stuff. You should get this. And Christmas music. Wait, that's actually really cute. Yo, that's I, I got the mama's pancake breakfast. I have not gotten anything but the French toast breakfast. Probably three, four years. <laughs> so, it's exciting. <laughs> I got the same thing. They did not have chocolate chips for my pancakes. But it's okay. And we got hot chocolate because it's literally summer and they have like Christmas stuff out in there. August. It's summer. <laughs> well, yeah, but like I'm saying it's August. Like Way too early for Christmas stuff to be out. Four months, literally. But I'm cold, so I got hot chocolate. Mom is getting to work. I was gonna cry, so I needed this. We finished. <laughs> and we're done with breakfast. We are gonna go run a couple errands while the girls are gone, and then the girls will be home. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys are not already subscribed to our channel, subscribe. You guys can check out my Instagram down below. Whoa, why did you whip like that? <laughs> Did you see that? I don't know. <laughs> it's a little scary. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what happened though. It looked like it was like urgent. Don't stare. Don't stare. He's still swerving. What is this? He's still swerving. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, and, look at this car. My comments should be on now. My comments have been on in my videos. But if not, you can check out my Instagram and I put a section for comments on my Instagram story. Thank you guys for watching our vlog and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.